coming up on iPads in the Classroom, Math Division Apps. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEdge and today I have a collection of apps that help kids learn how to do division, especially long division, and lots of practice. So, the first app that I want to talk about is called MathBit, and MathBit is a math practice app. You can get certain levels for free and then you have to pay for extra levels, so you do have to consider that. You get to have multiple users on one device which is always helpful and you can see that you can choose from different operation addition subtraction and multiplication and then end division and you can try it and the trial basis allows you access to some levels and you can get practice a one minute a one minute exercise and then 10 operations that are timed, so different ways to time how fast students do things, but the practice run is really uh, useful as a way to move forward. So you can see that you can get division and this is the first level and it shows you the kind of work that you do and you can move forward with practice and you get these and all you do is drag the answer to the appropriate column and you can see that this is good practice for fluency but there is not a lot of instruction so you can check it shows that they're all correct and you can move to the next one and if I do this incorrectly it'll tell me that I've got those incorrectly and I can still move, uh, uh, try to move forward, but it actually uh, goes back to the same exercises. So this is MathBit, great quick exercise to get some of the work going. But when we talk about long division, we're really talking about not just about the opportunity to practice, but also the opportunity to just be reminded of what was done in class, and MathEdge divide is one of those things that really helps go through long division step by step. So you can click on a learn step by step and we'll take something easy. So 5 divided by 3 shows you here. That's one time. And it walks you through what you need to do, which is bring the 3 times 1. 5 minus 3 is a 2. Take the next number down. Calculate again, 24 divided by 3 is an 8. Oh. So 8 times 3, 24. And if you make a mistake at this point, it just tell you to, tells you to try it again. 24 minus 24 is a 0, and it's correct. And now you can practice more. So the same exercise goes, and you can see that you can have long division up to three and four uh, digits easily, which is enough. And then there are also uh, flashcards to just work on remembering the basic division problems that will help the fluency when you do the long division. So this is a great app. I truly think that it does all the things that you need to do to uh, teach long division, math edge, divide, great app. So long division touch is an app that will work on an iPhone, on an iPod touch or on an iPad so you can use it on any of those devices which is fantastic if you have a multitude of devices or if you just have a classroom with just iPod touches and what it does is it walks you through it unlike the previous app it does not have voice but it does have text to go with the long division so it shows you how to do this and it actually has the uh, text up on top so you actually have this done right and we take it down and now it's zero, so zero times, so zero goes up on top and then it shows you to take the next one down and then we put the 12 down here and we say well one times, two times, that is correct and that is the end of the exercise and 
you can get more done so you can go to the next one working on remainders and again you can practice or you can learn to get into the practice it'll actually ask you to go in if you want more problems beyond the ones that they actually offer you have to pay 99 cents to get more practice items I think it's a great app because you can do that uh, really well so you put it down here and then you say I need one time and you can see how easily you can go like that and like that and like that and then you bring it down and you say one and it's done so you can actually show that this is successful and you can go to the next problem very easy to use very elegant I like the fact that it's got very clean design uh, on the page itself wi uh, white numbers over black with the directions on top for uh, the lesson great app the last app I want to talk about is splash math and Splash Math has grade four math, and you can create a student account, and then it will remember what students have done across devices and across systems, and that's really useful if you have multiple devices and kids don't always get the same device, or if you want them to move between uh, different sorts of devices. So I'm gonna go in just as a regular user without going into an account, but know that there is an account. And what you can see immediately is that in this fourth grade math app, we have multiple things to practice. We're going to focus today on the division. And you can see that at the bottom, it tells you what percent of the problems you've gone, uh, you've gone through and what you actually know, which is really useful if you want to see where students are. So let's go to our division problems. And I like the fact that it gives you specific different areas to work with, but even more so that it has different exercises within each area. And I'll show you what I mean. So a three digit by one digit, so it is very specific. And we're doing this kind of practice. And so, one of the ways that they ask you to do it is actually fill in the missing digits. So this would be one time, and then you write, sorry, and, and I'm not doing the exercise. I'm on purpose getting it wrong so you can see. When we're done, we're done. And it says, oops, and it'll give you the example of what it should look like. So I like the fact that there is a response when you made an error and it doesn't just ask you to do it again and again and again but instead it shows you what has happened and where the mistakes are in red and a, a way to think about it and then it goes into the next exercise and you can see that this is a totally different problem where it's asking you which number is divisible by seven which is, a, I would argue, a fairly complicated a question to ask and requires a little bit of calculation. One day I'll get it. And again, it gives you an example of exactly how you would go about it. So what this, one, this app has is multiple ways to get at the same problem and that keeps kids from being a, becoming really used to one way of asking a question and not really thinking through it keeps them on their toes and it keeps it interesting and varied so it's a great app to practice and to learn how to do long division and so today we talked about a few apps that help do math especially division and i'll see you next time on ipads in the classroom